Hey guys, <coughs> CD5 Hole here with a FFT Arena video. Uh, this match is between Baron's I Like Books and Otabo's Turbulent Air Flight, I think. Alright, starting off with Baron's team on the top. We have Hardcover the Squire, Textbook the Samurai, Notebook the Mediator, and Paperback the Scholar. Um, well, the team seems like a fairly straightforward, just like beat down with books, essentially. Um, <laughs> right, everyone's sorting books, because, you know, he likes books. Um, let's start off with the Squire. Um, I must say, I really like the design of this unit. Um, it, it, just, it just feels nice, like, right, we've got, um, oh, so Crystal Shield and Curse String, you know, nullifies the weaknesses. Um, concentrate? I, I really like, um, Concentrate on here, because it's like, this way, um, the book shots are guaranteed to hit, and that means it's more likely, just a bit more likely for it to trigger the um, the zombie procs, and that you know, it it can only the, z the proc can only trigger if it hits. So I really like that. Also, the book's pretty high uh, weapon power uh, helps with snipe, and as does concentrate. Um, so yeah, I, I just I just rather like the unit. Um, all right, the samurai. Um, again, um, so the high. The high MA units on this team, the Samurai and the Scholar, they have the Pirate's Plate, because that procs Flare. And as we all know, Flare uses MA. <laughs> um, so, so MA save to help, you know, boost up um, both book damage and eventually uh, the Flare procs. Flare procs. And Secret Fist as backup offense. Um, onto the other Pirate's Plate user, she's probably the main support unit due to the white magic. Um, you know, race you. Although, of course, t um, the meteor has cursed ring. I mean, two units on here have cursed ring, so it's not terribly important. But yeah, just knows you know like race two Asuna, I think cure three from white magic. Um, I feel um, the mad science from lore is a bit of an odd call, given that as I said, two of the units on the team are undead, and so or if actually if cursed ring blo blocks um, re raise, then it'd be fine. I don't know if they'd even target it, I don't know. So maybe it's not so odd of call, either. Um, in a similar vein, you could say the Samurai's Murasame is kind of odd, but then again, you want her to, um, you know, make sure she can always stay in the fight, so it's it's fine, I think. L lastly, the notebook. Um, her job is to proc stop procs, courtesy of the Madlam gen. Um, she doesn't know any talk skills, and she knows quickening. So right, her job, she's going to get get really fast, and dish up the enemy by landing those the book shots and hopefully proc stop. And again, we we see concentrate on here to make sure she can get those procs off. Onto Otabo's team, we have it's a bird, it's a plane. Look out, it's a tree, a tree, a tree. Um. Okay, so what's going on here? is well, these two have equipped um, iron boots, so they're not moving anywhere, and they've seen and dance, so they're going to try and buff up these two people. Um, slight differences, slight differences, but the overall idea is the same, right? We have Phoenix Blade Lancers jumping. Um, and they have quickening as well, so again, he wants to try and buff up their speed. Um, the priest knows last song, these two know quickening, she knows slow dance. So eventually, you know, over time, turn the, get all the speed, make things, slow down the enemy by a lot, make what top of seem really fast, so then their jumps do a lot. And of course, jump, um, slow doesn't affect how long it takes for a jump to land, to resolve. Um, female Lancers, because female Lancers have 30 MP, and 30 MP means two quickenings. So that was pretty nice. And... Yeah, I, I think that's about it. Um, I think the biggest problem for Otabo is that um, so map fifty nine. I think this is an okay. I think this map's okay. But yeah, I think the big problem for Otabo is that like again with two Phoenix Blade users, that's two. You're already at a disadvantage because of the perma slow. Now since those two lancers are the only form of offense, right? And they need to 
focus their jumps on on a unit on the same unit to kill someone. That's only one person dying every now and then. So the other team should, in theory, have plenty of time to reco to recoup from that, and then attack you know whoever they want. That's definitely the big concern slash issue I see for Otabo's team. Um, yeah, Battle Song also helps with the jump damage. Ooh, Slow Dance picking off, taking off two points of speed already. Meteor is not using Quickening, unfortunately. Lancers are, though. Also, fairly large map, which is nice, obviously, for the, um, you know, more song dance time. I'm stating the obvious. Oh, is that? Oh, that looks to be a cure three. That's the convenient thing about having, um, Ooh, Jade Armlet was stolen. Again, we see Otabo running, um, giving the Phoenix Wade users Jade Armlet to stop, prevent Petrify from just, like, screwing this team over. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, the third team that I've recorded of yours that have, you know, two people with Phoenix Blade and, and Jade Armlet and all that. It's pretty neat. Ooh, that hurt. And boom, there goes the Mediator. Of course, unfortunately, she'll be getting right back up. Oh, that looks to be raised, too, as well. Oh, but bees and boat. Oh, did it do enough? I'm not sure. Oh, cure three. Nope, not enough, but severe enough MP damage, I suppose. Another concern is will they run out of MP? Looks like. Well, presumably the um. The male priest is going for an angel song now. That'd be really good. So hopefully that is the case. Oh, oh, battle song. Oh, that's a pro well. Oh no, the priest didn't trigger absorb MP. That is another problem. Um, if they run out of MP, if the priest run out of MP, that is another problem. But of course, he does have absorb MP and um, MP restore. So hopefully, they will eventually get their MP back. And you can see that on um, Otabo, he is running 50, um, 50 brave, 50 fury on the uh, male priest to help um, with the chances of landing MP restore because that is really important. Because right, he is one more song. The male priest has one more song. Um, okay, so it looks like the AI will target... I guess, um, Curse String does indeed block re-raise. Oh no. It's an angel song. It's, uh, uh, is it MP Restore? <gasps> oh, it's scary! Mediator stealing everyone's accessories. Raise two misses, fortunately. Oh no, that's definitely a battle song from the priest because it's taken so long. Oh no, it's an angel song, never mind. Okay. Alright. Perfect. For top, that's just exactly what he wanted. Goodness, that was a bit of a scare. Um But yeah, Baron's team is doing looks to be doing fine. Um well, hmm. But the Lancers do have a scooter too, so they have really solid evade. Uh, Phoenix Blade has twenty-five um weapon evade too. It's something to scoff at. And ooh, that's a big jump. Okay, so maybe things are going better for Otabo than I thought. Um, does not help that the media is only stealing things. And not going for a stop procs. <sighs> the Madeline Jin dropped. An ooh, flare proc! That is good though, of course. Um, what do you call it? You know, they have Phoenix Blade, they'll get up and whatever, but... It is a start that looks to be a cure 3. Slow dance misses. Oh, last song. Misses everyone. Last song could definitely use a hit rate buff. I've mentioned this on the threads, I think. 50 may or may not be too explosive, I don't know. But I'd like to see it at 50 again, because it wasn't 50 originally. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't wrecking things. So I'm fine with last song. Especially since you, there's only like three relevant units you want to quick with um, last song, right? The three... You're the non last song singer. Yeah, 
in the meantime, <coughs> more book shots going on. Oh, but there's an MP restore. So now that priest is no longer in danger for, of running out of MP, at least for a while. Uh, no procs, only one flare proc so far. Uh, looks to be another cure three. Uh, they will probably combo to finish off the squire. Here's a race two onto the meteor as well, or at least incoming from the uh, male priest. There it is. And it misses again, that's like the third one. Very lucky for Baron. In the meantime, more book shots. <coughs> and there goes the priest. Oh, oh my god, that's hilarious. The, the um, meteors stole their iron boots and now they can move. That's really funny. I was confused, I was like, wait. <laughs> I didn't think they could move. Well, that's why they can move. Meteor dodges another one. That's like four or something, my goodness. Very unfortunate for Otapo, very lucky for Baron. And now here's- Oh, Flare Proc as well, and- Oh wow, that did a lot. That did a lot of damage. Um, yikes. Alright, now things are looking really, really bad. Because the two priests are down. There's no way, no form of revival, I believe. I believe. I could be wrong. Um, oh yeah, that's right, because they have um, jump and- uh, Oh, and the damage split kills, and okay. Baron takes round one, not yet. No, now he does. Concentrate. Blam. Blam. Okay. Alright, that was round one. Let's see what happens in round two. And here we are for round two. Checkerboard land one. Um. Okay, it's this one. Hmm. I'm not sure what to really say about it. Well, everyone's just gonna start right off in. Wow, they can all just hit each other right across the little gap there. Um, and last minute. Last minute, basically almost always good. Almost always good. But here, looks like two race twos incoming for one for each of the uh, undead units. Very few stop rocks. Though, I suppose the, um... Jade armor blocks stop, I believe. So not too much of a surprise there, and then two of the units are undead already, actually, so... The only relevant procs are flare procs. Okay, all the procs are relevant. But mostly the, uh, flare procs. They're most likely to affect as many units as possible. And already, Otabo's team on the defensive. Right now, oh, Secret, oh, Secret Fist misses, though. <coughs> Which is good for Otabo, but... Um... I, I I do feel like Baron should take this. Oh, crit? Not terribly re relevant, since those two are gonna kill the Lancer anyway. And race two misses again. There have been a lot of missed race two this match, and the Secret Fist hits too. Things are not looking good for Otavo at all. This is Seriously, that was like, what, six, seven missed race twos in like a row or something like that? It was absolutely crazy. Um, here's for another one. Um, oh, flare! Priest barely survives. <clears throat> Finally, a race two hits, but a little too late. Oh, please end though to really sort of put the nail in the coffin. Um, the priest is gonna go down. The priest, both priests should have no MP now. And so it's just up to the Lancers, but they're too slow to do anything. And one of them's critical, so they're just not. She actually just isn't gonna do anything. The priest, yeah, is dead. And now Tom's Lancer can be picked off at leisure. And that's another thing about, like, Phoenix Blade and Quickening. Because, remember, they're slow. So, it's going to take them a long time to, for them to get their turns in the first place. And then because of slow, it takes two quickenings to really add one point of speed. So, t so not only does it take them long enough to get their turns, it takes them even longer to really, to truly boost up their speed to like noticeable levels. Um, it, it takes a long time and... Um, this team could not get there. 
Soon can I get there? Yeah, undead units don't help things either. <laughs> Anyways, Masamune is going around. And it's only a matter of time. I mean, the Lancer might, will probably get up again. Whoop. Oh, they flee, that's right. Um, poof. And is that it? That is it. Baron takes it. Good game. Thanks for watching.